everyone, so I thought I'd make a video on a little bit of a topic uh, today. I'm basically uh, trying to keep myself accountable. So one of the things that you might see me do from time to time on here is to keep myself accountable. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about a quite well, some somewhat serious mistake that I made. Could have been worse. Um, I felt very bad, uh, bad to the point where I didn't even want to tell anyone, not even my partner, not even my parents, not even my friends. I just didn't want to tell anyone because I felt ashamed, right? So um, this is not really a happy subject for me to talk about and bring it back up again, but I will. I'll keep myself accountable, right? I made a mistake. I own the mistake and um, I will not make a mistake like that again, right? And I will be a better person because of it, right? So here is the mistake I made, right? So I will give you the highlights of this. So basically, I'm going along on my bicycle right, riding on the road, I have behind me uh, a, a large um, big truck lorry thing uh, and he starts beeping me, right, and I'm like, what the fuck is this guy beeping me for, so of course um, I get a little bit like, what the fuck's this guy doing, and anyway, we're just about to come up to a uh, island in the, uh, in the road where pedestrians can walk into the island and stay there, right? Uh, and of course, this bit is narrower than the traditional road. So anyway, um, I decide to, uh, for safety, I, I, I'm fear, fearing that this guy might overtake me uh, and I knew that there wouldn't be enough room. So I positioned myself into the primary position of the road so that this uh, truck couldn't obviously dangerously overtake me and knock me off or whatever. Uh, then of course, uh, he, he, although it wasn't, he sees this as like me being aggressive and, you know, he starts like beeping me and whatever. And then anyway, as soon as we've passed this thing, he overtakes me to the point where his back end is almost touching me. And I had to put my brakes on and sort of sway to the left a little bit. Uh, and even I think I even put my foot on the pavement at one point, right? I should not be forced to A, brake and B, go into the gutter like that. So anyway... He drives off and I thought I was very angry at the time because the way I see it is he uh, and, and I still see this now um, like this. Uh, essentially, anyone with a car, a lorry, a truck, whatever, right, they're basically going around with a potentially loaded weapon, right? If I was to be waving a shotgun around, you know, in front of people and I was to point it in someone's face and say, I'm going to shoot you, right? aggressively that's threatening he did exactly the same with his truck both the shotgun and the and the truck could could have killed me right now the way that he did that he he's in a very dangerous weapon he should be very resp responsible with that weapon but he wasn't right and he used it in a threatening manner to intimidate and potentially even kill me right so of course Later on, I'm carrying on my bike, very angry. I'm not trying to chase him though, but I'm very angry at this point. And anyway, I see him queued, queued up later on. So I come up to the, uh, come up as I come up to the truck, just instinct just kicked, kicked out. I need, I need to teach this guy a lesson, right? So I just went on his, uh, on his wing mirror, right? On his, uh, you know, the mirror on the side of his truck. And um, I didn't think it would damage it. I just thought it would maybe like make a big noise and maybe like push it out or something so he'd have to like manually like push it back in so anyway i carry on driving down anyway the traffic clears a little bit i notice this guy's chasing me he's angry he, this guy's seen red you know um so anyway i'm i'm riding on the cycle track which is li literally on the sidewalk right to, to try and avoid this guy i'm thinking shit is this guy gonna like mow me down is he gonna go out hit me with a baseball bat like what's going on right so then anyway i'm Carrying on and later on this guy catches up with me and he pulls right in front of me puts on his air brakes so He stops dead and anyway luckily my fast reactions I, I went around him and anyway I saw that saw the door swing open luckily I knew he was gonna open the door So I, I, I made room and went around that as well and he started trying to chase me on foot So at this point I'm thinking this guy's in the wrong right? I've I, I didn't realize that I'd actually damaged his, his mirror, right? Um, so anyway, I, I put, uh, saw a cop and I flagged the cop down, right, the policeman, right, and I flagged the policeman down and I said, look, this, this guy's, you know, he's driving dangerously, he's basically trying to kill me. Um, so of course, anyway, 
um, this this guy comes. Oh, this guy's damaged my mirror. Blah blah blah. So of course, immediately I'm the bad guy. I, you know, I've caused criminal damage. The the, the way that the policeman sees it, right, is um, an angry cyclist basically hit this guy's car, uh, well, truck, lorry, whatever. And um, you know, I, it's not like I've came off, right? But it doesn't really matter to the point that he nearly killed me. That's fine, attempted murder, right? But the way that the cop sees it is I'm in the wrong. Um, I've caused criminal damage, which obviously I had, but I, I didn't necessarily mean to. But I guess maybe my anger got a little better in me. And, you know, I, I've been working out for a while. So I <laughs> guess I had a bit of strength behind the punch. And, um, yeah, so literally just smashed the fuck out of his mirror. Um, it was just... Phew, like the mirror was just trash. I thought these mirrors were really thick. I thought they were meant to like withstand a couple of collisions here and there. But anyway, um, so of course the cop, you know, he's listening to my story, he's listening to this guy's story. This obese guy in a, in a, in a car comes. Obviously, he's with the side of the car, you know, because obviously he's never even walked or cycled in his life. Um, so yeah, of course I, I'm I'm the bad guy. A guy from a cycle shop comes. I'm the good guy in his eyes. Um, the way that the cop sees it. He, he can be neither for me uh, nor against me, but neither for him. But however, the, 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 the fact remains that I cause criminal damage, right? So now anyway, at this point, I'm thinking, oh, shit, I shouldn't should not have called the cop in, you know, because now, you know, he, he's saying that you are either going to have to go to court or I'm going to have to pay this pay this damage, right? Which is 75 pounds, probably about like a hundred dollars, right? So I'm thinking, oh, shit, whatever. So anyway, he's saying... How are you going to pay this, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, cut a long story short, I end up being like, yep, yeah, I might as well pay it. Get it over and done with. No criminal criminal, um, you know, record or anything like that. No further actions against me. No court hearings or anything like that. So I'm just like, let's get this over and done with. Pay the money, whatever, right? So anyway, that was it. Um, but of course, on the way back, I'm thinking, I really, really, really let my anger get the best of me in that situation, right? Um, not only did I let my anger get the best of him to the point, best of me to the point where it angered this guy. This guy could have then injured me or injured himself or injured someone else. I mean, the way that he was driving erratically, I mean, for all I know, I could have gone onto the sidewalk to avoid him and he could have mow, mowed down some pedestrians trying to run me over or something. I, I don't know. But this guy, um, his actions were wrong, he was in the wrong, I was in the wrong, but at the end of the day, two wrongs don't make a right. In that situation, I should have just kept my ground, and all right, he, he was aggressive with me, he let his chimp run free, uh, his inner chimp, but I should have, uh, as they say, been the better man, and just kind of like, calmly, not done anything about it, certainly not like, smashed his mirror, right? Um, I still feel like, I did let the, um, I did, I did kind of like let it get the better of me. Um, I shouldn't have done. I, I still regret it. I didn't even tell my partner or my parents the fact that I'd done this because I, I kind of felt ashamed. I felt sad. Uh, that whole day was a downer for me. My partner, she, she knew something was wrong, but I had to kind of try and put on the smiley face or whatever, right? Because I, I didn't even want to tell her because I didn't want people to think less of me. Um, I still hope people don't think, think less of me. I made a mistake. Uh, I own I owned that mistake. Yeah, um, I have paid paid for my mistake literally uh, with, with cash. And but yeah, I think going on from this, um, I've I've not normally been an aggressive cyclist, right? Um, I've normally been pretty calm. You know, I, I don't get me wrong. I get aggressive in my head, but I've never normally vented those aggressions outside. Um, I did feel like this guy was trying to murder me um, in cold blood, basically. So that is why I reacted so strongly. Um, I don't believe people like that should get away with it. But you know what? I think in future, I'm going to try and take a camera with me or whatever. You know, I'm going to report these people. You know, I let the authorities deal with them. You know, if this guy's caught in front of me, maybe I can get him sacked from his company and he, he never drive lorry again. You know, that's what these kind of people deserve. They don't deserve to be in such a powerful weapon driving like that. Um, I did talk with this guy. We resolved it. We left almost shaking hands, no hard feelings. Um, I do hope he will be more considerate and careful for cyclists. I'm certainly going to be more careful and considerate for lorries um, and vehicles in general, to be honest, because at the end of the day, 
I'm I'm the vulnerable road user. Um, I'm the one who needs to kind of tiptoe around these people. I can't be uh, showing aggression or, or whatever because these people can just, in a moment, they can just run me over and that's it, game over, I'm dead. Um, so yeah, I made a mistake. Um, I've got to obviously live with it now. It's something that's never far from, from my mind when I'm cycling. It's certainly a mistake that I do not plan on repeating. So I have learned from this. Um, yeah, so, I mean, my, my mistake was never aggression towards the person as such. It was more towards the vehicle, right? So I would have never have, like, hit the guy or anything like that. I didn't even think about that. And when he did get out, you know, my first instinct was to get away from him, not because I was scared of the, of the man, but because I didn't want to get into a confrontation with him and hurt him or him hurt me or, you know, it's, it's good for no one. So... Yeah, I really think that I have learned from this. Um, I have my girl partner and my parents have now found out. Um, a letter was addressed just to my surname. It wasn't addressed to my uh, first name, it was addressed to my surname. So of course, my dad living here, he opens it. What's this? You know, I had to come clean. Uh, I came clean to my parents. My girlfriend was at the top of the stairs. She overheard. <laughs> so I had to tell her the stories. Everybody knows now, basically. So I thought the whole world might as well know, right? And maybe I can put out a message that can, you know, make this thing not worthwhile, but at least it happened for a purpose. I can learn from this mistake and maybe you can too. So yeah, <laughs> leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me think. Uh, let me know what you think. If you've had any issues with like road rage or anything like that, maybe in a car, maybe in a bike, maybe as a pedestrian or something, um, give this video an upvote for my honesty and sharing a story which I'm not very proud of. <laughs> and uh, follow me for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video, everyone.